working for a living. What does that machine do? The machine, um, well, it does a few different things. Um, one of them is cut metal, right? Um, so this is a mill. It has, we learned in class, that it has three axes, um, X, Y, and Z. Um, so, it, I mean, it can do anything you really you want it to do, whatever you can program it to do. But um, it cuts metal and it makes, uh, some manufacturers use it to make dyes, old bases or cavities and cores, so it, it can do a lot. <laughs> can you just tell us why you decided that you wanted to take the classes? Yeah, um, well a big part of it was just pure curiosity, just wanting to learn about the CNC machines. Um, but then two, because of the whole be next, um, that launching, I really just wanted to be educated on what was being taught in class. So then I can, when we're promoting it to high schools, um, or even promoting it to members, like I can actually know what's taught in class, the structure of it. Um, if somebody calls and is wondering if G codes are going to be covered in the class or um, work offsets, things like that, I would I could actually like knowledgeably answer the questions and give them a little bit more of an insight of the class. But curiosity was kind of the, the big thing. A few, so I've taken our GD and T class, um, some of our online classes like blueprint reading and um, statistical control, uh, SPC it stands for, um, and I think I think that's it. Oh, and tools for frontline supervisors. So I've taken a few, but some of them were um, with my previous uh, employer that was a manufacturer and member of TMA. So, um, but what I've learned at the CNC class is um, a lot. It was a lot more than I had really anticipated. Um, just to I've, I've learned uh, and I've appreciated. Like I've gained so much more appreciation for the industry, and for um, anybody that that has to run a CNC machine. I had no idea. I mean, like they always say it's skilled, but then going into that class, I really got. Um, the inside scoop of how skilled you really need to be and how you have to really think things through, especially once you get on the programming side of it all. Um, you know, just how you set up the, 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 you know, the piece of whatever you're cutting, you know, metal, steel in the machine and then when you're programming it, so you make sure that you're not going to ram the tool into something or whatever's holding it and keeping it clamped down, that you're, you're also being cautious and aware of where that is so when you're programming as well. So. Um, and all the math that, that went into it and why math is important, like now I understand why, because you're calculating radiuses, you're calculating where on the coordinate chart um, you're telling the computer to go to. So it was, it was very enlightening um, and again, so much respect for people who do this every single day. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs>